Well, good morning from New Jersey, land of face masks. To go into any public area or public service center here anywhere, I'm uh, I'm required to wear a face mask so that I don't speak moistly on anyone. So we are what, about two hours away from where we're going to deliver our freight, and then we're heading down to Augusta, Georgia. And from Georgia, we're picking up freight that's going back to Manitoba, I believe. So we got a few more days on the road yet before we can go home. Uh, it'll be a short visit at home. And then I'll probably go on another somewhat short one. And then I'll be back in the first week of June. We got to do a lot of work around the house. We got to install our back door, uh, take that window out, put the door in, reframe it, obviously, and redo the drywall and paint. And then also we have squirrels that are invading our territory at home again, trying to get into our attic, which is not good. I've already taken care of a couple of them and uh, <clears throat> relocated them. But there's more. Britt just messaged me saying that they're back. There's more of them. It's like a large family of squirrels. And so what we're going to do is uh, they're getting up underneath our veranda. We're going to finish that off so that they can't get up there. So that'll take at least a full day to do that. So we got a lot of work to do at home. And uh, we've got to get it done as soon as we can. So let's get to work here so that we can have maybe a little bit of uh, money to pay for all that. beautiful day to be in Delaware. Did you forget that Delaware is a state? Sure is. You can't really see it on the map because it's so small. But you know sometimes they say big things come in small packages. I think some I think some people say that. It's a nice state. Uh, obviously I don't know much about it. I haven't explored it other than this highway here and I've been through here once before. But uh, it's very small, but it's very congested. A lot of people packed in here. I believe it was one of the first states, right? Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm thinking since it's here on the East Coast, like it, it must have been one of the first, right? I wonder why it's so small. Maybe one day I'm gonna have to sit down and uh, read up on the history of Delaware and learn a little bit more about this state that everybody forgets about. A lot of bridges though, that's for sure. Another big bridge here. So the toll booths are all closed. Everybody just has to drive through. Uh, I have an easy pass transponder, so it gets billed to us uh, back home. But if you don't have one, you just drive through and I guess they take your picture of your license plate and they send you your bill in the mail. That's what the signs are saying. I don't know if that would work with Canadian plates as well. I'm assuming so, it would just take a while to get to you. It is sure gorgeous. It's 22 degrees Celsius here. Oh, and off in the distance there, you probably can't see it on the camera because of the fisheye lens. Off to the left, after we get past this, uh, this bridge here, right there. You see that? There's a nuclear power plant over there. Up two kilometers. Keep to the right on State Road 1. Very fancy. Very fancy. You know, that's the cleanest energy we have available to us. The best and cleanest option. In 400 meters, keep to the right on State Road 1. Uh, no, I'm keeping it to the left. I hope that wasn't a mistake. They had the toll booths closed over there. Stop ahead, pay toll. Everyone's just gonna fly through here. I think I was supposed Continue to exit there. Continue this road for 45 kilometers. Whoops. Oh, this road will work too. Well, it gets us to the same place. And you go underneath this little thingy here and bloop, paint. I really like it that they have uh, 
sort of like one big easy pass toll system. It's very easy for us that travel across like the whole continent uh, to deal with tolls that way because you just get one transponder and it works pretty much everywhere. Pretty much. Not everywhere, everywhere, but all in like northeast area of the country anyway. It helps a lot, makes it a lot easier. It'd be nice if they had like one across the entire country, right? We're in southern Delaware here. Delaware, Delaware right here. Don't look at me like that, Diesel. That was a good one. It's so green here already. I mean, look how tall the grass is. Their growing season must have started at least a month ago. We don't even have leaves on our trees yet at home. Look at this, this looks like full on summer. Very nice. Bit of a scenic road back here. We're getting close to the northern, uh, well not the northern, but the, the border with Maryland. Uh, sort of beneath Delaware on this little peninsula like I was explaining to you. 28 kilometers, or I don't know, 18 miles or so to go, somewhere in there. And then we have a full day's drive yet down to Augusta, Georgia. Must be worth it. They're sending me there empty. It's fine with me. I really don't care what's in the box behind me. As long as those wheels are moving. It's... I will do my best. Still really liking this truck, you know, and I'll treat it like as if it was my own. Keeping it nice and clean, maintained. Running really well. They're all done unloading me. Guy didn't speak a word of English, but we communicated with our own made up sign language. It was fun. Diesel. Do you speak Spanish? No? No bueno? Is that. What does that mean? No bueno means not good, right? Anyways, we're empty now. We have a full day's drive, 964 kilometers to where we're going to pick up our next load. Uh, so uh, let's mosey on down there. We're gonna pick it up tomorrow afternoon and head home. It's three days drive home from there yet. So we got about four days ahead of us of just driving if the load is ready by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so I don't know if they're gonna work on Saturday. Hopefully they don't make me wait all the way till Monday to pick it up, but I would rather spend those days off at home. So we're coming into Pittsville here, the actual town. There's a Trump van right there. The old Trump flag. Lots of Trump flags out here. Where do I gotta turn? Not this intersection, the next one up there. Oh, we're nice and light now. Feels so good. Feels up feels like I'm light as a feather again, like a little oh, race. Car. Meters. Turn right on Gunborough Road. like a pretty old town here too. I guess that makes sense, right? I, I just learned that uh, Delaware, their state slogan is the first state, right? Am I wrong? Does that mean that they were the first state? Is this where America began? In 300 meters, turn right on Gunborough Road. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, we studied American history in school, in high school. We had to. But, uh... Can't quite remember what the first state was. And I don't think the U.S. studies Canadian history. Huh? We study their history, though, so we, we know all about them, but they don't know much about us. <laughs> Wait, did I say Delaware in the last clip? It's Maryland. It's Mar We're in Maryland right now, and Maryland's slogan is the first state. I think. Someone's going to have to let me know in the comments section. I'm pretty sure. I can't Google it right now, obviously. Maybe I'll tell you later. The first state. We got a copper coming up beside us here. Incognito, I see you. I see you. Here in a ghost, oh, it's not a cop. It's a public works vehicle that looks like a cop. Sneaky. So to get out of the southern little uh, peninsula here into the mainland of Virginia, I guess you'd call it, we've got to go through through here and there's a van stopping to pay cash. I guess they're accepting cash at this toll booth. I got an easy pass so I can just mosey on through once they start moving here. This is the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. 
sounds interesting. Never been through here before. Apparently we might be over height. I gotta wait for them to come out here and measure me. I guess I, guess I gotta drive underneath this thing here. I didn't see any signs. Maybe I missed them saying that I can't get underneath or into the tunnel with my 13 foot six trailer. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I guess if I'm too high, I'm gonna have to go around. It was $43 to go over here. Hopefully they will uh, they'll let me through. Hopefully I'll fit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get through. I wonder why it was set off the alarms. Apparently it set off the alarms that my trailer's too high. That's why I gotta come and wait here now for them. I'm glad that they have those warnings. You know, it's better that than to hit the bridge with your trailer. Well, there's a story for you. I got turned around. We've got to go all the way back up and cross over a different bridge into Washington, D.C. It's three hours back north. Uh, let's try to get this in here. Get my phone up here. What's the bridge called? Should have gone on the bridge to begin with, but we had decided that, no, it, it, <coughs> it had looked like uh, it was going to be fine, right? We've got to go back to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. So we got our $42 back refunded uh, for going through the toll. They refund that, but uh, I don't gotta pay the tolls anyway, but people back home pay for it. So they got refunded their money. But I mean like all these other trucks that are here, like that truck went through the bridge. Those trucks went through the bridge. And apparently like we had to go underneath that uh, thing that was in front of that bar and we just barely nicked it, just barely hit it. So they won't let me go through. They had the, they had a, uh, the bridge authority or the cops or whatever they're just they're very friendly but they're just like we're sorry we can't let you go through like can't risk it and i said that's okay i don't want to risk it either it'd be a very bad day for me if i hit the bridge so i'll go back around they had instructed me to go down here so uh we talked about it yesterday me and the load gods back home and said yeah it looks like it's a truck route and it is advertised as a truck route and trucks are supposed to be able to get through here but apparently they build their bridges and their tunnels with just like that much clearance. And if you're just a little bit higher than the average truck, I guess, which I guess I am, you hit it. Maybe you should uh, dig your tunnels a little deeper there. I'm just saying, but whatever, whatever. Little detour. Uh, I'm gonna go back up and cross across into uh, Washington, DC. Maybe we'll see the president. Probably not, probably not. You never know though. Well, we had to go three hours back, but here we are on the Chesapeake Bridge. We couldn't fit under the Chesapeake Tunnel, so we're going over top. And apparently there's something going on right here. I had to sit and wait for almost a half hour uh, with all these people here because the bridge was closed for a little while. I'm not sure why. I thought I saw police lights up here. Big bridge. I wish we could see it during the day, but all the way back here just to get over the water. Just going around Washington, D.C., United States Capitol. There's a big blue Ferris wheel over there. We got an amusement park. That's pretty cool. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But off to our right is the Washington Monument. Once we're on the bridge, you'll probably be able to... I don't know if the fish eye lens will this road hold that far. Kilometers. Let's get up here. A lot of power in that city. We're just in Maryland right now, but Washington, D.C. is just off to our right. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's the Washington Monument. That means the White House. Straight down that, what do they call it, a corridor? Right in front of that. Straight to my right right now. I think this is the closest I've ever been to the United States White House. One day I hope I can go there and get a tour, that'd be cool. 